So this isn't so much about the drone itself. I mean, that's another project. But what's what's um, Raspberry Pi relevant is the fact that as you can see we've got a live video feed. So um, and all all it is this is just a quadcopter with a Raspberry Pi Model A strapped on the bottom, um, a USB Wi-Fi adapter. This is just a Fox standard one. Just uh, got some antennas on there to give you a little bit better signal, uh, and just a USB battery pack and phone charger, basically. And, that, and, the, uh, and then we've got the Raspberry Pi camera, which I've mounted on top. Um, and the idea is this is to serve as sort of a, FP, a cheap FPV solution. The FPV solution, the FPV means first person view assist, so you can fly uh, the quadcopter whilst looking at the screen. Um, now, what you need to be able to for this to be practical is low latency. Now previously, th this is nothing new. Using a camera to stream video from a Raspberry Pi is nothing new. Um, however, all the solutions to do this previously have involved setting up VLC and setting up networking. So you have to set up a Wi-Fi hotspot and you've got to set up your IP address on both your Raspberry Pi the camera and your Raspberry Pi app serving the display. And it requires a lot of configuration. Um, and also when you, when you get it up and running, you notice know, that that you might walk past the camera and look at the screen and then 10 seconds later you'll see you walking past and that's you can't like, like trying to trying to drive a Mars rover <laughs> um, so um, this is much lower latency and latency for those of you who don't know it's the, the time it takes for something seen by the camera to just be shown on the screen so you can see if I put my hand in front it's pretty much straight away so it's, it's, it's that's what we call real time um, so What's, uh, if you're interested in doing this, all you need is two Raspberry Pis, one Raspberry Pi camera, and a couple of Wi-Fi adapters. You need to buy a specific kind uh, of Wi-Fi adapter, but they are very cheap, like these were about £10 of Amazon. Um, so there's another, uh, the other part of the puzzle is down here, I haven't shown you this yet. Uh, all there is down here is from the Raspberry Pi, with the same adapter on it. Um, and uh, it's put in by HDMI, so it's got no, no cables other than power of HDMI in there. Um, requires zero configuration. So it's the, the smart guy who figured this out is, uh, is uh, he managed to produce a couple of SD card images. So an SD card, you know how you take your Raspberry image and you put it on your SD card, uh, and then you put your SD card in and boost the Raspberry. Or it's just made um, an image that's not Raspberry, but instead you put it on the SD card just like you would with Raspberry, and you, you have a transmitter version and a receiver version. The transmitter version is the one with the camera in it, and the receiver version is the one that is connected to your display. So you just you just flash the um, you just flash the these two images to the appropriate Raspberry Pi, turn them on, and it just works. Um, so if you want to know how to do this yourself, just search for Wi-Fi broadcast, one word, uh, and it'll take you to a page where it explains how, how to do this. Um, and uh, it'll, also, it'll also tell you which, <coughs> which um, Wi-Fi adapters you need to buy. So you need to buy, you can't do it with just any, unfortunately. It has to be a specific chipset inside the adapter to make it work. But as I said, they're only about £10 each, which is about the going rate. Uh, I got, I opted to get one with antennas on, just to get a little bit better signal, to go further with it. Um, the other thing to emphasise about this is that because this is, doesn't require any kind of state, uh, you don't have to, make a connection as it were. If I go out signal, I can just walk out of the room with this, walk down the corridor, and it will eventually go out signal. But as soon as I walk back, the video will just display again. I won't have to like, uh, press buttons or refresh it or try and get the signal back. It'll just come back by itself, which is something that you just you don't normally get with a live streaming video. So, um, so it's pretty cool. Um, is there any questions? Um, What's your um, so far, it's not doesn't work very through, doesn't work very well through the walls. Um, it just I think it just about worked through those doors. Yeah, it's it's not doesn't work very well. I think these four interior walls will be quite thin, but it didn't seem to work very well. I tried tried it through brick walls. It didn't seem to work very well. Can you gain on the areas? Yeah. You can get, um, you can do all sorts of clever things with Wi-Fi because these are what we call omnidirectional antennas, which means that they basically broadcast the signal in all directions. If you want to get 
high gain, what you can do is you can get uh, basically card and tinfoil. You can put card and tinfoil on, on, on these things. You can sort of strengthen the signal. So other applications of this, you know, CCTV, you know, see, um, in, 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 maybe something like nature <coughs> or something like that. Um, and you might want to just that little bit of extra range. Um, so, um, but yeah, it's, it's sort of line of sight, not quite. As, it's not quite line of sight, but it's close. Um, but the, the, the key thing about this is that the latency is very, very low, so you can use it to actually drive a robot around or fire a couple around like in theory. Uh, and the signal, if it deteriorates, if you just come back into range, it will just display again. Whereas if you were doing that with a normal computer screen, the signal cuts out, you'd actually have to fill around the software to get the signal back. Um, this is stateless, it's connectionless. It's just that sends, that receives. It doesn't matter what order you turn them on either. So I can unplug this uh, and then turn it back on. If after the price minute, if it's about a minute, the, uh, the signal will be back. So, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. What, 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 that question would be much right, better yeah, to yeah. ask it later on. So what's the question? What are those two? Right, oh, no, well, 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 answer it later on. So the question <laughs> later on is, what is the 